Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Shasta Vlogs. In this video, we will talk about something very important for anyone running an online store. We will talk about how to overcome common Shopify challenges, whether you are just starting out or have been sailing for a while. I will show you few most important practical tips and tricks to help you fix that issues like slow speed, app conflict, SEO problems, inventory, headaches and more. So guys, if you want your Shopify store to run a smoother and bring in more sales, stay tuned. Let's dive in. Now I will tell you detailed explanation for each of those core challenges and solution topics, what the issue is, why it happens and what merchants usually do to overcome them. So let's start from the first issue that is performance and speed issues. When a Shopify store loads slowly or has laggy user interactions, it frustrates visitors and kill conversion. Common causes are large, unoptimized images, too many apps, each injecting CSS, JS, heavy themes with complex templates, and unused or leftover. Just because Shopify themes and apps often load external script and resources, each extra request adds latency. Some apps continue to load code. Even when disabled or not in active use, over time, the cumulative effect is a slower site and poor user experience. Fixes include image optimization, removing unnecessary apps, choosing lean themes, lazy loading, and auditing with tools like page speed insights. Next one is theme limitation and customization. Shopify theme give a lot of flexibility out of the box, but there are still constraints, especially for merchants who want highly unique design or custom features. If we talk about issues that include some themes like especially checkout pages are not fully editable unless you are on Shopify Plus or certain plans. So you can't always change aspects of checkout or oversight certain elements. The solution pick a theme that has good built-in flexibility, use section, meta fields, avoid touching core theme code and high dev help when needed. Next one is that app dependency and conflict. Apps are great because they let you add features without building from scratch. But the more apps you have, the more surface there is for problems. Performance slowdown, overlapping function, conflicting script, styling problem, etc. Typical problems that include multiple apps, each injecting JavaScript and CSS can lead to code conflict. For example, two apps like to control the same DOM element, card over, pop up, etc., resulting in broken layout or misbehavior. Unused apps or ones you remove but leave behind code. That is still load parts of themselves or leave or find snippet. Also showing things down. To solve this, regularly audit apps and install those not in use. Ensure proper cleanup of leftover code and try to consolidate functionality into favor apps. SEO and visibility constraint. Shopify is a very stronger for many e-commerce needs but it is architecture imposes certain limitations for SEO and site visibility. These constraints can hurt how well your site rank, how easy it is to index, and how clean or navigate your structure is. Now we will discuss about few major SEO related challenges that include duplicate content, because a product can often be accessed via multiple URLs. For example, via collection path, 
वे आर प्रोडक्ट पाथ और अपेयर इन मल्टीपल कलेक्शन एक्स ई टी सी सिमिलर सैश आइडेंटिकल कॉन्टेंट शोज ऑफ इन मल्टीपल प्लेसेस सर्च इंजन मे गेट कन्फ्यूज और स्प्लेट रैंकिंग वैल्यू थिन कॉन्टेंट और जेनेटिक डिस्क्रिप्शन मैनी मर्चेंट सिंपली यूज मैन्युफैक्चर डिस्क्रिप्शन और मिनिमल प्रोडक्ट डेटा लो कॉन्टेंट मेक इट हार्ड टू रैंक और डिफ्रेंशिएट टू इम्प्रूव दैट यूज यूनिक प्रोडक्ट और कलेक्शन डिस्क्रिप्शन मैनेज कैनेंशियल टैक्स ऑप्टिमाइज साइट स्ट्रक्चर अवॉइड डुप्लीकेट कॉन्टेंट एंड मेक श्योर योर थीम और एप सेटअप डज नॉट स्लो डाउन लोडिंग इट बिकम आर चैलेंज सोल्यूशन इंक्लूड यूजिंग इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट टूल्स और एप्स साइंसिंग चैनल्स सेटिंग अप अलर्ट्स ऑटोमेटिंग वर्क फ्लोज नेक्स्ट वन इंक्लूड कस्टमर सपोर्ट एंड रिटर्न गुड कस्टमर सपोर्ट एंड ए स्मूथ रिटर्न प्रोसेस आर वेरी वेरी एजेंशियल फॉर ट्रस्ट एंड अर कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन वेन अ कस्टमर हैज एन इशू दे एक्सपेक्ट अ प्रॉम क्लियर एंड हेल्पफुल रिस्पॉन्स डिलेज और वैक रिप्लाइज लीड टू फ्रस्ट्रेशन एंड नेगेटिव रिव्यूज फॉर रिटर्न मेक योर पॉलिसीज ट्रांसपेरेंट Also state that how many delays customer have to return in what condition who pays shipping whether you charge restocking fees and whether exchanges are allowed shopify let you set up return rules and self serve returns so customers can initiate the process very easily so guys after receiving a return inspect it restock or refuse if the condition is not met and issue refunds or exchange responsibly and also monitor return reasons if many reasons cite wrong size misleading product image you may need to improve product descriptions or images next one is that data security and compliance running an online store means handling customer data and payments so you must protect this information and follow the rules shopify as a platform already takes on major compliance responsibilities if we talk about an example then example is pci dss for payments and issues compliance reports but guys the point is that your store is still partly your responsibility only authorized stuff or apps that absolutely need access use a strong password that is very strong and enable two factor authentication for all of your accounts Always use SSL encrypting your site and keep all app themes updated to avoid known vulnerabilities. You should also conduct periodic security audits especially after installing new apps or making major changes to catch possible weakness. Running a Shopify store is a journey, not a one-time setup. You will always run into new challenges. That is, speed tags, design limits, app conflict, customer issues, or data requirements. You will face challenges such as slow speed, confusing UX, app interference, security gaps, etc. But each one is an opportunity to make your store better. Always listen to your customers, analyze the data, and audit your store regularly so you spot early prioritize fix that will have the biggest effect. Let's take an example to understand more clearly improving speed or simplifying returns because those directly affect sales and trust. Keep your store safe, secure payments, strong password, compliance and make every customer interaction count, clarity, response time, helpful support. Over time those incrementals improvement build credibility loyalty and steady growth so guys if you stay focused on performance 
trust and customer experience your shop will not just survive it can thrive so guys this is all for today thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to shaista vlogs for more useful content see you in the next video goodbye